good morning from the Intman Trail in Manitou Springs. <laughs> Got a lot of snow last night. Well, not a lot, but a few inches. And so this is going to be interesting. I'm supposed to get, my coach wanted me to get somewhere between five and 6,000 feet of elevation gain today. And a little bit of a time crunch thingy. So um, I got soccer games, flag football games to go to today if they're not canceled with this weather. We will see. I don't know how many miles this will be. 17, 20, more. <laughs> we'll find out. Snow's gonna make it interesting. just a hair after six o'clock this morning. So earliest run for me in a while, <laughs> but uh, I was kind of surprised I didn't need the headlamp. I thought I might, but obviously as you can see, it's pretty bright right now. I mean, obviously I'm a mile and a half in right now, so not too bad. I need it to get a little bit brighter so I can hopefully put my sunglasses on and keep this snow from getting in my eyes so I can see better. Oh man. I'm trying my best right now not to pull a Boston Marathon yard crapper. <laughs> trying to make it over here where, where, where I know there are some uh, porta johns or portable toilets. We'll see if I can make it. Oh, I'm getting close <laughs> on both ends. <laughs> oh man. incline right there not doing that yep going up the Ute Pass trail which is just to the right of the incline it's literally right there well, we'll see what this is like never been up here today or never been up here before oh thank God for those toilets I don't know if you can see it through the snow but that's the incline straight up through there into the clouds snow is so beautiful and there's no tracks out here just me snow is gonna lift it all. That's okay too because it's beautiful. All right now is where I think the real the real climbing begins. Boom, oh, I hate this cold. <laughs> I think I've got about I don't know 2,000 2,500 foot climb now. We'll see if any of it's I mean some of this is runnable but snow's getting deeper. So we'll see. Go Broncos. Go Broncos. This climb is slow going. Kind of a run walk interval type thing. Steeper, st steeper spots walk, obviously. Oh, 
feeling so steep right now. 25%. <sighs> they show me those little like false summits. <sighs> Somebody came down this way this morning. Oh man. Slipping and sliding. <sighs> Over 9,000 feet up now. Over 3,500 feet of climbing. <sighs> and still climbing. I'm not sure what the highest elevation is I'm going to today. I'm supposed to be meeting up with Bar Trail somewhere. Just took another jail. <sighs> that was very steep. It's leveled off a little bit, so I need to try to run. And by leveled off, I mean 10% climb. <laughs> or 10% grade. <sighs> it's no longer 25. Uh, dropping down now a little bit to go connect to Bar Trail just down there, but I found the Fremont Forest Experiment Station. This was from this was from 1909 to 1935. As you see here, a whole little like settlement. Up there, destroyed up there, down here. <coughs> An old furnace or a you know a fireplace. So this experiment station, whoa, <laughs> was only the second one uh, in the whole in the whole nation, um, and it was to work on uh, growing, regrowing the forest because it had been suffered or damaged so much by wildfire and logging. Yeah, there's another structure of some kind. All right, let's continue onward. Yeah. Pretty sure I know where this will connect back to Bar now. Because I've always seen the sign back here that said experimental forest. I had no clue what that meant. But it's gotta be that. Alright, well I'm back on bar trail now. And I dropped down to just below 8,700 feet. I'm gonna go back up a little over nine. So I can get over 4,000 feet. And I should be able to get another thousand on the way back. I hope. This trail is a lot more traveled. All right, I got over 9,100 feet. So I turned around, heading back down now. This one has been way, 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 way slower than it should have been, but it's okay. It's just because of the snow. It's made it really, really slow and difficult. All right, now we'll go down carefully. <laughs> yeah, down carefully. climbing up a red mountain right now off the Inman Trail and it was crazy I was just on this trail Tuesday no Wednesday night in shorts and t-shirt <laughs> and there wasn't a hint of snow it's all just fell last night all right here we are top of red mountain oh man that's a steep climb yeah that is a crazy steep climb it's like I don't know, maybe a half mile. <coughs> it was like 700 feet. Whew, it's steep. See, way over there, that flat mountain, that flat top right, that's Iron Mountain. So I gotta run over there, up that little trail, and then go down that little other trail beyond that ridge, and go over that way, so. Gotta keep moving. I just finished changing and I'm um, freezing cold right now. I forgot to bring my puffy jacket. I gotta remember to pack that thing. <laughs> but uh, whew, drying off, got the heat cranked up, trying to warm up. Good run, 20 miles, uh, 5,453 feet of elevation gain uh, with an average pace of 1357. So it's definitely slower than I would've liked, but that snow just, it made it really slow. So anyway, still a great day, beautiful day out there. Now I gotta go warm up. Yeah, good training. I'm so glad that I got, I last minute decided to pull the um, 
uh, the the ultimate direction FK gaiters and put them in my bag that uh, was a must <laughs> with all that snow for sure it kept the feet pretty dry uh, the Hoka Torrent threes I chose them today because they had pretty decent grip for snow and um, didn't breathe exceptionally well so they wouldn't get my feet cold and so uh, they worked perfectly good choice so anyway whew, thanks for watching guys appreciate you guys hope you all had a great weekend a safe weekend and I'll talk to you on the next one